Some of the shells that we will need to know for class. That is our state shell. That is the horse conch. This, that is an operculum. That is kind of like the door that opens and closes a snail's aperture. Now, that's a really big one because it comes from a big snail. There's our crown conch. You'll need to know those. We've seen a lot of pear whelk this year. We've seen a lot of banded tulip. Notice those bands. Okay, we've seen a lot of those. It's relative, the true tulip, I haven't seen in a few years. It's larger and it, the bands aren't as pronounced, so you'll need to know the banded tulip. You'll need to know the fighting conch, the lightning whelks, lightning whelks, various sizes. We'll definitely need to know the common auger, the Atlantic slipper snail, the lettered olive, very smooth, the shark's eye or moon snail, the Florida worm snail, you'll need to know the jingle shells, jingle shells, those are jingles. You'll need to know the coquina. You'll need to know the Sunray Venus, the Florida Spiny Jewel Box, the Prickly Cockle, see the spines, versus this is called the Yellow Cockle. I also accept smooth. Arcs, 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 the pen shells, stiff or half naked, but all you have to do is ID them as pen shells. The crossbar venus, scallops, you'll need to ID scallops, kitten's paw, buttercup loose sign, oysters, oysters. The cohog. Now these are bivalves, two-part shells. The snails before, over here, are gastropods. A few echinoderms that we run into that you'll need to know are the sea urchin, sea stars, sand dollars, which are actually flattened sea urchins. Another cockle shell, the giant Atlantic cockle. So this is a summary of a lot of the shells that we will see on the practicals in marine biology. One last that I overlooked, the turkey wing. Looks a lot like an angel. I don't run into angels that often, and when I do, they're so thin they break. But the turkey wing is also common seafare. So I got to get back to class. Have a great day.